High water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the one who broke your heart, and we'll see what messages are coming up around this person. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, so I hope that's better. Uh, more light here. Uh, okay, so Seven of Swords. It seems like for a lot of you here, it feels like this is someone who has hurt you. Someone who's caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of emotional anguish. Um, this person may have lied to you. They may have cheated on you. They may have, dis uh, have been dishonest and disloyal to you. But I feel like, and even though that's hurt you and has broken your heart, I feel like what has hurt you the most in this instance is that it was the fact that they've kept it hidden from you. So it's not so much the act, although the act of, you know, their betrayal of their um, deceit here, the act of infidelity here, um, you know, has caused you a lot of hurt and a lot of anguish. But it's the fact that this person was able to look you in the eye and then, you know, fabricate or embellish a lie around what it is that they've done. It's this. It's the fact that this person has betrayed you, you know, this very same individual who you placed all your trust into. They've taken that and they've, you know, broken your trust here. It's the person who, who you know, ha has hurt you or has done what they've done to you and they've pretended all along okay they tried to hide it they tried to mask it they tried to uh, deceive you so it was the fact that they've you know wanted to get away with it or did get away with it for quite some time which I feel like has hurt you the most because from what I can see a lot of you you have placed your trust in this person you've played your you've placed your trust in the betrayer here And even though you had an awareness that this person has, you know, had the capacity to hurt you or had the capacity to lie to you, to, you know, to, to cheat on you, abuse you or, you know, put themselves and their self-interest first. You, from what I can see, you were very shocked that they still went ahead and did it, even though a part of you knew that they had it within them or they had the capacity to do it. So it's someone who has violated your trust. Not only someone who has hurt you and broke your heart, but they've violated your trust. And perhaps at the same time, it's, you know, you were never then able to trust anyone so easily. Um, there was love involved. Okay, there were r romantic feelings. I don't think there was an equilibrium or a balance here. I feel like for... From what I see, from what I'm seeing here, it feels like for a lot of you, it was this. Look, their act of betrayal it was purposeful here. Okay, they knew what it is that they were doing. The person who hurt you and betrayed you here, they knew that the choice was wrong, and they knew that it was avoidable or as preventable, or that it was a choice. So it's important that you don't, do not make excuses for this individual. You can still love someone who has hurt you. You can still love someone who has betrayed you. Okay, and that's just the um, you know the cold heart truth of it. But I feel like even more confusing what's coming from this reading is that sometimes f 
for some of you, and this isn't going to be for every one of you, but there's the loss of an illusion. Okay, so some of you have developed in your mind that the way you think things should have been with this person, the way you think things should have unfolded with this person here, um, it doesn't necessarily co correspond to the reality of what happened here. And so, yes, you've lost this person, and a part of you, I feel like, is still holding on to this person, but you're also holding on to the illusion of what could have been. And just, just be very mindful that, you know, some of you, you feel betrayed or hurt by this individual, but I think you also feel betrayed and hurt by the illusion Okay, because reality didn't necessarily meet up to the demands of your illusions and the demands of your expectations as well. I think with your person, I feel like they were tempted to move on very quickly. So if they've cheated on you or they've betrayed you, I think this person was tempted to move on very quickly. But from what I can see, they... The reason why they were tempted to do so is because they were, you know, they didn't want to resolve it. They didn't want to confront themselves in the mirror. They didn't want to confront their own pain here, and it just feels like they didn't necessarily want to understand the process of what they did or how their actions have impacted you emotionally. There's shock, there's strong emotions of like shock or den denial and even anger. For some, this individual has kind of dismissed the situation or the seriousness of the situation. And they've tried to focus too quickly on moving on or even try and focus too quickly on asking for your forgiveness, even though they may not have been deserving of it. I think the, the one who has hurt you here, um, I'm seeing that there is an imbalance in the energy. So I don't know that, you know, they've, lo I don't think that they've loved you the way that you deserve to be loved. I don't think that this person, you know, treated you the way that you deserve to be treat treated with kindness, with respect. It, I'm seeing that the, your person carried some, your person might have been someone who has been hurt in the past and... They may, you know, would they may have been dealing with their own issues, and as a result, they most because they were dealing with those issues, they weren't. They kind of were responding to their emotions or their issues defensively. There's a sadness here. I do see that there's a sadness. Once someone recognized the full extent of what they've lost. I think your person is still hopeful, or I don't know if it's you, you're still hopeful for reconciliation or reconnection. I don't know, I think it is hope, but for some maybe it's more acceptance. You know, acceptance is a large part of healing. Um, if you trust the process fully, you're able to heal. Trusting the process means allowing your feelings to be what they are, whatever they are. Uh, I'm, You know, feelings are never wrong or bad okay if you feel angry if you feel hurt if you feel betrayed you're entitled to those feelings the feelings themselves are not bad it and it's what you do that evoke those feelings that's you know that's bad and that's unhealthy but some of you i think are getting to the point where you know you're accepting what's happened here or i don't know if it's your person that you you may not be talking about it, okay? And this person may have tried to move on very quickly from the situation, whether with you or without you, but it feels like internally that they aren't necessarily processing what's going on here. I mean, for some of you, I see that you might want to forgive this person and continue the relationship. And if so, you just have to be You know, I think you have to be mindful of a few things. You have to make sure that you're not making excuses for this person. You know, is their behavior going to continue or does this person recognize that they've hurt you? Are they trying to change their behavior? Does the individual want your forgiveness? 
do they want you to forgive them do they want you to do they want to acknowledge their behavior as wrong and do they intend to not engage in that kind of behavior in the future so i think you know forgiving is absolutely important but you know whether you want to forgive this person and continue with the relationship i think it's something that you're really going to have to sit with yourself was you know was their behavior intentional from the looks of it it was um, you know, or was it somehow related to an illusion of some sort? I think there are so many questions that only you can answer yourself. And, you know, it, does this relationship in particular, is it worthy, you know, worthy of forgiveness? Because the one who hurt you, I think, you know, they've hurt themselves as well in the process. But I'm also seeing that they've had... They're going through some things emotionally. They may, I don't know if they have since healed or they're on their way to healing. Um, I'm seeing that there were emotional behavioral patterns that were self-sabotaging to this connection. But some of you, you want this person back or you want what you had with this person. But what you had with them in the first place may just have been an illusion, okay? And the Seven of Swords may be the deceit that lies within your energy. So I think... You have to sit with yourselves and I think you have, there's some questions here that you have to answer. Alright guys and these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.